Hello guys, welcome to SAS TV. So in this video, we will be covering three different topics. The first thing is HTTP methods. We will be understanding what are HTTP methods. The second thing is different types of HTTP methods, like the different verbs we use in HTTP methods to um, use the backend system. The third is planning the employee management system. So once we have covered the uh, theory for HTTP methods, we will then be planning for our next videos. So yeah, let's get started. So before starting, uh, we have some prerequisites here. You should have a basic knowledge of C-sharp. The second thing is Visual Studio. Um, you sh your system should have uh, Visual Studio downloaded and installed. If you haven't, um, you can see the card in top. You can just click on that or you will, ha you will have the link in the description box. Just go ahead and cl uh, click that link. You will be able to know how to download and install Visual Studio. The same is for Postman. You should have a uh, the, the postman downloaded and installed so uh, even if, if you don't have the postman downloaded you can just click on the link uh, in the description box or you can click on the card at the top okay so let's get started so what are http methods http methods are basically those which we use to retrieve information or save data in the database so we have different types of http methods um, so like or for example we have get post put delete head, options, connect, trace, and we have many more. So uh, for this particular Web API tutorials playlist, we will be covering uh, the four main things, which are CRUD operations, the read, the create, update, and delete. So let's discuss what are these things. So what does a gate do? As the name suggests, this gate basically tries to retrieve information from the backend server or the database. Uh, for example, we will be receiving an employee information or a list of employees information from the employee management system like that. So the second thing, what is post? A post is normally used to create or insert a data of an employee of, or any other thing in the database. The third thing, put. So what is a put? A put is basically used to edit the current information we have in the database. For example, we can update an employee record. The fourth thing, delete, as the name suggests, we can delete an employee record using this particular form. Okay, now since we have the basic understanding of HTTP methods, let's directly jump in and uh, plan the employee management system. So we will have a solution named employee management system in which we will be having different HTTP methods calling up. So uh, I have already created the solution in part one of this playlist. If you haven't seen the uh, pa part one of this playlist, I really suggest you to go ahead and see that video. So uh, this employee management system will have five different endpoints and uh, this five different endpoints will be called from the front end. Uh, in our case, it will be Postman, as I said earlier in the video. So we'll, we will have five different endpoints uh, created in the employee management system. The first one will be the get, which will retrieve the list of employees. The second one will be uh, another get, which will retrieve the details of a particular employee. The third will be the post one, which will create an employee record. The fourth will be the put one, uh, which will update an existing employee's record. And the last one, but not the least, is the delete one. This will um, help us to delete an existing employee's record. Okay, so uh, in the upcoming videos, we will be implementing the get, post, put and delete verbs uh, in the employee management system. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to support us, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.